Man, her job fucked up my skin, bro. The one Got thing Republicans have to stop doing, quit whining about her. We knew it was going to be her. Do you think no, that this campaign is, nobody knows is be floundering on that point? I want this campaign to win. But the campaign is not going to win talking about crowd sizes. It's not going to win talking about what race Kamala Harris is. It's not going to win talking care. about whether she's dumb. It's not. You can't win she on those is. things. The American people are smart. Treat them like they're smart. That it's was a debate. Nikki they both Haley, had each other, um, right? former Republican rival to Donald Trump, uh, who tried to primary him for that top seat, uh, tried to be the presidential nominee of the Republicans, pleading with Donald Trump to switch up his strategy when it comes to winning Why? in the working. general. Um, because if you heard anything she said, talking about race, gender, how she's how she's dumb. Speaking of Kamala Harris, that was actually the line that Donald Trump used to win against Nikki Haley. So I'm not sure what we're talking about because it actually won when it came to Republican voters. But again, Trump is trying to appeal to all voters, to undecided voters, to independent voters. Um, and now we know that all the donors are trying to plead with him to change course, to stop like doing this. Kamala's not really black routine to actually really give some it. policy proposals instead of just personal attacks. And there you have Nikki Haley doing the same. Um, and again, of course, the crowd sizes, that's also not really hitting with anybody. But it isn't just Nikki Haley, it's also diehard Trumpers, like Peter Navarro, who is filling in for Steve Bannon recently on his podcast. And Peter, Peter Navarro, fresh out of jail, I mean, I feel like maybe he's seen the light because here he's also echoing what Nikki Haley says. <laughs> Trump doesn't need feast now. He needs votes. And the current rally formula he got the is votes. simply the black vote. not sufficient to focus about on you. the very stark policy differences, policy differences between him and Kamala Harris that will swing voters in key battleground states. Instead, when she Trump haven't visited a border once, personally, rather than on policy, Harris's support among swing voters rises, particularly among women. It's just a fact of life right now. Yeah, usually women vote for women. Fortunately, Guys women can don't. still vote, but we're working hard every day to make sure they can't. Uh, that uh, was uh, former advisor um, uh, Peter Navarro, and also former advisor Kellyanne Conway uh, and Fox News host Larry Kudlow had similar advice for Donald Trump if he is listening. Don't don't up a few off. words. Don't call her stupid and all kinds of names. Stay on message. The winning formula for President Trump is very plain to see. It's fewer insults, more insights, and yeah. that. I didn't want nothing to do with life no more. Meet the Sarah. Her vibrant spirit was thinned by dental challenges. Policy contrast. Mm. He's got that hunger, swagger, underdog, underestimated of 2016. There we go. Again, I think uh, personal insults to her is not a good idea. Really, not a good idea. It's a distraction. It's unnecessary. It's off message. You and I hey, don't scroll away. Come back, come back. Because before the video continues, we just want to urge you to lend your support to TYT. I better, y'all. You power our honest reporting. You do it at tyt.com slash team, and we love you for it. Hey, Mondale, I have to get you to weigh in here. It's always been about policy over personal attacks with Donald Trump. Yeah. Is this the same Trump? Yeah, you switching about? lanes, huh? I'm confused at all about any of this. Like they're asking Trump to talk about policies like he did when. Trump has never had a policy other than name calling. He's famous for giving people that are running against him names. Ted Cruz, uh Joe Biden. The Bush brothers. It doesn't matter. Trump, Trump, is is, not even Trump real. has what no you policies about, that right? he can push out other than supremacy. White supremacy is his policy of choice. If you're looking for something other than Trump, then you're looking for a different candidate. There's nothing other Trump can offer uh, as a candidate other than his BS. And I think it's I think it's rich for Kellyanne, who was a part of the last uh, administration and also campaign. And the same for Peter Navarro. And it's like, what, what policies are you all looking for when you all are the ones who deployed Trump to use tactics just like uh, the Willie Horton idea and also that which was the Southern strategy. So you all so this course and are looking for something different now. Yeah, and a little bit later we'll see like uh, what kind of policies they actually have, which is very few and far between, mostly race and anti-immigrant 
ideas but like yeah, this is exactly what won him the nomination in the first place in 2016 and then won him the presidency also a massive dropping of the ball by the democratic party hey, the new in the choice room, of Hillary clinton but i digress um he is trump this is your guy so i mondale i don't know what we're doing here it almost sounds like they're either trying to Trump whisper and trying to get him to change course and teach a dog new tricks, a dog who they worship precisely because he can't be taught new tricks. And he doesn't have anything other than making fun of the way people look or calling her not black and said she was just Indian. You know, right? like that's all he's got. It's bluster, it's lying, it's bullying. And then when he's actually asked about policy, which we've done before and Fox News has said, like, hey, let's talk to our voters, this biker gang in North Dakota, they should be pretty chill. And a biker gang member is like, hey, uh, what about housing? And Donald Trump verbatim says, well, we're going to drill, baby, drill. They're freezing too much to be cool. trying to worry about Donald Trump in North Dakota. running through bro. your home, and do you get, like, money for that? Because, like, if not, I'm pretty sure that was Everything's a non-answer. Money, so he doesn't actually have policy. It's just that his outsider status, his willingness to be that a-hole has buoyed him up until this you, point and status? the fact that he was a massive windfall for the 1% while in office. It's like... I don't, I don't know, come hell or high water, water but now, now they're trying to rein him in. in. Now is the shit? shine what is worn say? off. I don't also, know. he's got 34 felony counts. Uh, but let's go to uh, a little bit more reporting of CNN from what it's like on the inside. A lot of his advisors are apparently blaming the fact that the press has way too much access to, to be him. More sure they blame what unfettered about. and unrestricted access to the former president as part of the problem. Proponents of some far right conspiracy theories have direct access to Trump, including his personal cell phone or as members at Mar-a-Lago and his other clubs. I just love that if you pay enough, he'll just give you his cell phone number and then you can text him random YouTube videos about how, how you build connections, bro. Italian satellites were switching first. votes well, in 2020. Um, yes, I'm talking to you, Sidney Powell. Um, they'll regularly call on him or stop by to engage the former president when he's playing golf or eating dinner. Hey, yeah, I'll money. I'll pay him the too. underground Psych. pedophile ring. Okay, have a nice golf game. Sorry. Often, aides and advisors do not have the full scope of who is in his ear at any given moment. Another source aligned Everybody on his dick trying to ride it, bro. Appearing to be My in phony. a spiral, up. directly referencing his amplification of multiple conspiracy theories, expressing hope that the former president would regain focus of it as Man, the new state of the shit, race bro. became clear. There's a lot of us depending on him, the person said, so he better snap out of it. I mean, Mondale, there is a certain amount of nah, he, he is snap out just of whining and still pissed and can't get over the fact that just a couple weeks ago he was running against Joe Biden and now he's yeah, running against Joe Biden Kamala Harris out. and because you don't got just, the sauce, just, you don't got the pivot. juice. Do your research. Hire the right consultants. I mean, you mentioned Willie Horton. There are a million ways you can run against Kamala Harris in a bad faith way, in a way the Republicans aren't sincere about. But for example, give you an example. Surely it works because it's the auto girl triggered. Who is locked up based on her truancy policies uh, as Attorney and General of California? Up, a parent, triggered. right, who served jail the time. It happened. It was bad. You could easily lift that person up, pay them one word, put them on television, and they could talk about how Kamala Harris is a terrible, you know, it was like awful to, uh, you know, uh, you know, a family, right? They're not doing that because they're not smart about this. They're just stuck in whining and to the conspiracy theories. I'm gonna be the first person. The AI is her crowd kind of thing. Like, like this is real bottom of the barrel stuff. Yeah, I think it's bottom of the barrel, but I also think it's this idea. And what you speak of is not just happening on the Republican parties. If you if you remember when the Democrats had a candidate that looked and seemed like Trump, i.e. Joe Biden, not in policy wise or crazy conspiracies, but in age and, and, and stumbling and slurring, they too were making the same missteps. What happened is this, this new candidate that's not a Biden, that's not a Clinton, that's not a Bush, which is basically every ticket for the past 30 or 40 years, um, then you see this... I've what spent do we the see, last bro? 20 years of my life dealing with the issue of immigration. Bush is a reporter in Texas, an in intelligence nothing, officer in the Texas government, like and now is a fellow for the Center for Immigration Studies. I've been all over Texas, Mexico, so and Central America, car. and I've pretty much like seen it all. Com I've Harris. never seen you know, anything like lost. what I've seen since January you gotta, 2021. You gotta, no one has. Take an According to U.S. government data, some 8 million people have illegally images. entered the United States oh, here, in 2021 and 2024. Oh, These are the people we know the about. 
but it's hardly the whole story. Another two million must be added to the total. These are the gotaways, the ones seen by border agents but never apprehended, and the ones who enter the country through a myriad of other ways. That brings us to a grand total don't know about of 10 this. million illegal went, like, crossers in three years. years. An average of 300,000 every it's month since Joe minutes. Biden was inaugurated president. Make just a, a, that just is make the greatest parent. mass Jesus. movement across national even do that. borders in U.S. history. And maybe the greatest in her human her. history. And they'll keep coming her if hair we is continue not speak like Cat Williams is. That's not a guess. That's a guarantee. How can I say that? Because I know why they're coming. They've told me. Over Kamala, and over no. and over again. She's worried about because they slurs, fear political persecution rats, in their home country. It's not because they fear the drug get her ankle bit by ass. It's not because they fear their abusive husbands. Because all her mother, sure, some fraction can't. of migrants fit those descriptions, but the overwhelming majority are coming she for a much more obvious reasons. Millions of people, to billions of people, and make money in the fight world's richest Trump, country. One person. Simple as that. It's an economic calculation: risk versus reward. If the reward of entering the U.S. Well, is greater than the risk of deportation, migrants will come. Over every stairs and not just from Mexico or Central America, but I from almost every purpose, country in the world. Part of his in the last three years, they've come from 150 different like nations. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. China, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, Somalia, Mauritania, Haiti, Cuba, and Venezuela. They are drawn to the U.S. by what Spanish-speaking migrants call la invitación. An invitation to a banquet of generous government benefits and economic opportunities hey, they want a better to life. in their Fuck home it. countries. Here, bro. Illegal immigration has been a major issue in the U.S. for over 20 years. They might as well just take down the border anyway. It's one of the reasons People Donald Trump was over elected that in 2016. Through it. He promised to stop it and he made significant progress. He extended the border wall. Although his efforts were hampered by four. liberal judges, like new breath of you excitement on the base. It. But if, Before but what I would, what I would argue is, um, what it is is, it's this is a a, 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 a character a of, a, a well, I should say, a characteristic of food. our political system and how how dumb it is. What I mean by dumb is, it's not connected to the people. They're still running Trump as if it's the '60s. Like right. you need that, <laughs> like it's that many racist Southern we folk that you can win an election, shit, right? not realizing that America has brown baby boomers. They don't ask for. Shit, but and they were the largest them, generation. But now you have take care of 20 us. million plus baby boomers that are gone, they're unalive at this point, and then mm -hmm. you have more than that Zers that have come online that is voters since say 2020, 2016. They, just don't, they don't even know how to run an election for the electorate. And I think that is showing up so well when they underestimated how much it meant when you took a white man off the ballot this, and you made age a one-sided argument. Spinach. And they can't combat that because they're not prepared and they've never seen an electorate or a candidate in this manner. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they have. The hits just aren't hitting, they you know, the old the racist fuck. tropes. It's like they're going to be there for the diehards, you know, but the band's got to come out with a new Sorry. album, you know, and, oh, and then and they don't have anything. Yeah. They're actually terrible at playing all instruments and they can't hold a tune. So um, huh. they only have fear. They only okay have hold division. Tune. And honestly, about, bro? to Harris's They're playing credit, the same shit. Uh, the I am someone who ma has massive cr critiques of her. Her staying on this message of being against divisiveness, being for unity, trying to come together and kind of rising above some of these attacks, honestly, I think has been really, really beneficial to her and allowing, let's be real, the white guy that they chose on purpose because he was a white guy, Tim Walls, to do all the attacking. Um, yeah. But yeah, any well, thoughts on that, Mondale? Yeah, I think the DEI hire of uh, Walls was amazing. Like, no life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it was perfect. Like this is this is great because he is what JD Vance play on TV, minus the couch. He is what Donald Trump try to be, minus the billions of dollars, right? Like this is a veteran who is a populist guy who who sounds like the so-called middle of America that America cares so much about. Mm. I think this goes back to the idea of like Donald Trump likes the discipline to be a candidate where he has to really run, where name calling is not working. He lacks the discipline when the model that was the apprentice does not work to pick a president so mr pillow kanye west and ice cube oh y'all right, comment like subscribe don't you be a hater this video, that's because of our members they make us independent Jeez. they make us strong and they make us honest become a member today by hitting the join button below